talking about your experience of dementia care then, uh, what's it been like in your experience? What are the biggest things that we can all learn, do you think, moving forward? Uh, again, with the, with the prospect of more and more people being diagnosed with dementia, more people living longer, more pressures on the health service, etc., etc. What do you do? Nine three four three four three four. Now, Nicola's in Carlton. Hello. Hello. So this is your husband, isn't it? Who has dementia? Yeah. Yes, he's and, in a, a, a care home. Right. Okay. Now, without naming the home where he is, what's your experience then of of being his carer? You go in and see him. What do you see when you look around? Um, it's very mixed, really, over the years. He's been there um, five and a half years, so it's changed over the years because it really totally depends on what staff are there. And I must say I'm mostly happy with the, the staff that are, are at his home and have been over all the years. They're all very caring and wonderful people, and they always appear to do their best. Um, but at the end of the day, when you're in a, a care home, it's not the same as being in your own home, and you haven't got that one-to-one -one sort of constant overseeing of making sure everything's okay almost every minute of the day really that was what I was worried about when he went in because mm. um, whilst they see to his physical needs um, I'm as much bothered about his emotional needs and that's harder to be met by care staff to be honest of course what do you think makes the difference between uh, a member of staff who's doing an okay job and a member of staff who is doing a great job oh absolutely everything you can really tell the difference um, I, I wouldn't assume, I, I thought I would assume that younger staff might be uh, less good through lack of life experience or whatever, but I've actually found young care staff there are excellent and they seem to have a, a real care for the residents and a love for their job. So that makes a total difference from someone just going through the motions of doing a change or something to someone that's actually thinking about them and how they might be feeling and chatting to them at the same time. I mean, you wouldn't like to be manhandled in a sort of non-caring way, really, would you? Mm. Even if you do, you're doing your job, you know, practically, you know, it makes a difference if someone's thinking, oh, this, this, I know this person suffers from anxiety, so I'll make sure I talk to him and keep him happy whilst we're doing it. It can make all the difference. Do you think that's the biggest thing then, moving forward, that we need to, we, we obviously need to understand dementia better, but we all also need to understand how to care for people with dementia better? Uh, yes, definitely, because if, if you understand what they're going through, you're automatically more likely to care for them better in the first place, and a lot of it is how how they're feeling emotionally and mentally, and not just um, the physical needs, um, you know, on a piece of paper that's recorded. Yeah, they're a human being. Yeah, and and you would, it, you know, it's, it's very easy to say, oh, how would you feel if your parent was here? And and then, you know, you feel like you want to say that to them every day because I think it would really make a difference to how they approach the job because it's a bit like you see the adverts on the telly, could you do this job, you know, it's like a police when you have to detach a bit probably to deal with certain situations. It could really take the emotions out of you if you fully, <laughs> fully mm. engaged all the time maybe. But yeah. That's what I, I want for him because I, I want the, as good a care as if, I, as if I was doing it, really. But I know that's not realistic. I hear exactly what you're saying. Um, always good talking with you, Nicola. All the best to Steve as well. Thank you for talking. What about you? Your own experience of dementia care then. What are the biggest lessons you think we need to learn as a whole, as a society, as more and more people are diagnosed with dementia and people live longer and all the other strains you hear about on the NHS, of course. 934-3434 to share. BBC Radio Nottingham, just gone 9.30. Here are the headlines.